Hello, close friends and acquaintances. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, um, I'm here again. Uh, the scenery is different. I'm outside because, y'all, a girl just be tired of being inside, you feel me? And it's nice out, so I thought it would be great. Yeah, things are crazy. Things are crazy, and I'm here to, to add in my two cents and everything yet again. I know nobody asked for it, nobody looked for it, nobody sent for me, but bitch, here I go. I've just been seeing a lot of like white people and other um, ethnic allies or individuals that want to portray themselves as allies um, are going on about how like, yeah, I may not understand your pain and i will never be able to understand your pain but we stand by you currently um i'm just trying to listen listen to you and educate myself educate myself educate myself and a lot of people are taking that and they're satisfied with it but that's not cutting it for me that's not cutting it like try again go back try again because y'all it is 2020 what are you what are you what are you educating yourself on what are you educating yourself on because to me when i've been reading these things and hearing people are saying these things i'm just like bullshit bullshit i don't want to hear it i don't want to hear it like it just seems like a lot of copy and paste what are you educating yourself on because it's like we are showing you what the reality is what the reality has been and yet you are coming to me and saying you have to educate yourself on what on slavery so it's just when i see that i find it very like just stupid and dumb even though i know discrimination oppression and i feel that shit i also acknowledge that i still do have privilege and i can be ignorant towards other cultures in respect to other minorities indigenous people all of that i understand that like i don't know everything about the world but the thing is i don't need to know every story of oppression to know and to stand against oppression you feel me so when i hear that shit i'm just like what what are you educating yourself on all of the fucking these the past 400 plus years ain't enough like get it the education system isn't the best or wasn't the best at informing people in great detail about the misjust that took place against black and indigenous people i get that but the little that they let us know was enough i just think it's not my place at this point it's not my job to educate you at this point if you're seeing all of these things in the news and you still feel like you gotta learn more it, it it's crazy to me it's crazy because it almost comes off like you don't believe it you know what i mean like i you have to read into it to see if it's real or not that's a vibe i'm getting like what are you educating yourself on and even if i did tell you all of that you still like nothing is still going through your head because hello we've been doing that people have been doing that so many organizations have literally just been built and they've existed for that sole purpose to educate people there if you are white and you are watching this video do not go to your black friends and ask them to educate you on slavery or on police brutality or on their the the fucking personal experience of oppression don't do that shit that's that's a no for me sir don't ask me um, so dear white people stop being so defensive you know what i mean stop taking shit so personal because that's what i've noticed also that um a lot of people out there are just incapable of detaching themselves from the term white person if the shoes does not fit don't fucking wear it don't wear it it's simple as that if the things that people are saying about white people does not apply to you don't be mad why are you mad you know what i mean i get it 
your history is disgusting. If I were white, I would be disgusted also. No one wants to be a racist. You know what I mean? No one wants to be a racist. No one wants to think that they are being racist. No one wants to think that they're being prejudiced. No one wants to think that they have personal biases against um, minorities. No one wants that. However, that is not the case or the reality of the world that we live in and have lived in. Honestly, feel as though um, in a time like this where change is needed, it, the responsibility is on you as a white individual to actualize this change. When, when a minority is speaking or when people are protesting about their lives, their kids, their brothers, their sons, their sisters, their community, it is not the time for you to be and be dismissive. It is not. It is a time to acknowledge and to listen and to educate on your own time. Not on the time of the oppressed. Because what I've noticed is that when, with this whole situation and why people are so defensive and unable to, to, to really hear what is being screamed at them, what is being, what is so freaking obvious is the mere fact that you guys are incapable of dealing with your fucking guilt. Because I feel as though as a black woman, I've been, and just like with the reality of the world, I've learned how to deal with my pain and my anger. I know, learned how to disassociate those two in order for me to, to interact in a space that's predominantly white. I had to learn how to process that, how to critically deal with that emotion and identify that what had happened in the past and those individuals aren't necessarily the individuals standing in front of me. Because the same way like the word white people are racist, like all of the negative connotations that come with being white, the same goes for being black and being any type of minority. But it always, I always notice that like us minorities learn how to deal with that shit, learn how to acknowledge that like that stereotype is not who, it's not what defines me, it's not what defines my community. But yet you guys are in capable of doing the same like today i saw on twitter um the chief policeman or some fucking dude um of minneapolis was um he made a statement to the press and he was enraged about the way the media was portraying him and his fellow like co-workers the cops and saying as though that the media was vilifying them, portraying them as thugs, treating them wrongfully. And the whole thing and the whole video is quite ironic to me because that is what has been happening to black people in the world, and especially in America. It, it was really wild, like it was so like surreal to watch someone say that and be genuinely incapable of seeing their own shit i just think you all lack empathy real shit you lack empathy because you're content with bringing pain to multiple communities in this world without feeling any any way about it you f i just feel as though if you are white and you're watching this and you feel some type of way about the words that I've said and the things that I am saying, the topic in which I'm talking about, I want you to really like ask yourself why, you know? Like I'm really asking you to self-reflect and be fucking honest with yourself. Be brutally 100 with yourself. My whole life I've been hit with these stereotypes of, oh, black people are lazy, Black people are thugs. Black people are no good for nothing. People have, have approached me thinking it was a compliment to tell me how I'm not like the others. Change is coming. So dear white people, change is coming. Whether 
you like it or not. Embrace it and change with the times or get forgotten. Or acknowledge your privilege. Start addressing your guilt and start obtaining empathy. It's really that simple. All we want as a community is just the chance to be greater, the chance and the opportunity that you have. We just want equality and allow things to happen naturally rather than the system working against us. Because the things you guys believe in, in working hard and, and working for what you have or what you want is also what we believe in. Yeah, that's it. Anyways, that is it for this video. I will see you guys next time. As always, a like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, bye.